Hi, I'm uh, Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm talking with Colin Moore, who is the president of IM Exploration, uh, with the ticker symbol IM on the uh, CSE. How are you doing today, Colin? I'm doing great, Chris. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, there's been a lot of news I've seen uh, researching your company, uh, a lot of activity this year. Uh, the company's transformed a bit. Why don't you give a little bit of a background for our viewers? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and it certainly has been a very busy summer for us, um, both in terms of building out the team and uh, in building out our land package here. Um, so yeah, a bit of background on how we got to where we are today. Uh, I am in uh, April, um, acquired an option on what's called the Toyabi Gold Project. Um, it's in Lander County, Nevada, right in the heart of the Battle of Mountain Eureka Trend, um, just about 10 kilometers south of Cortez Hills. Uh, so they had acquired that. And at the time, I was a director and co-founder of a private company. Uh, we had, uh, the private company was called Momentum Minerals. And we uh, had a an option to acquire the property immediately to the east of Toyabi, um, right next door. Uh, so following their acquisition of the Toyabi uh, project, they actually acquired us in July. Uh, we had what's called the Turquoise Canyon project immediately to the east of them. Um, and following that transaction, which closed July 5th, um, I was appointed as president. So I'm new to the IM team, um, but I have been working in this area, working on this project under Momentum Minerals for two years now. So um, it's been a fairly long process. We've done a lot of work on the ground. Um, and yeah, now we're, we're in the process of building out the team. There's been a lot of press releases lately. We announced two new board members, um, both part of other uh, highly regarded public companies. We brought on a lot of technical advisors uh, very experienced geologists with a particular focus in Nevada. Um, and we have a, a very exciting field season underway right now. So we're pretty happy with what we've been able to put together in the span of only a few months here. So let's just uh, focus on your Nevada projects to start off with. Um, I noticed when I was uh, looking at the Toyabi um, project that it did have a historical resource on it. So maybe you can just uh, give a little bit of overview of that one and, and how it ties together uh, with uh, your uh, Turquoise Canyon project. Sure, yeah. Um, so of the two projects, uh, one being Toyabi and one being Turquoise Canyon, Toyabi is, uh, is definitely the one, um, I would call it more advanced stage of exploration. Uh, past operators have had drill programs there, about 370 holes over the last couple decades have been poked into it. Um, and in 2000, 2009, uh, that culminated in um, the publication of a technical report that had a resource of 173,000 ounces at a grade of 1.2 grams per ton. Now I would caution uh, to the viewers um, and for the purpose of you know, the exchange that this is not considered a, a current resource by 43101 standards. So this is a historic resource. Um, and obviously we're going to be doing a lot of work there to, uh, to both expand it and upgrade it, um, to current standards. And, and this drilling that you were doing to get that resource, is that sort of a near surface drilling? Is this sort of open pitable material? Yeah. So, so the, the past operators really had confined themselves to looking for those shallow oxides, um, as is usually the case, uh, with operators, junior operators in Nevada, you go for the easy stuff. So. Um, most of the drill holes, so of the 370, 84% uh, of them didn't extend past 180 meters. So what we're okay. seeing near surface um, is very structurally controlled um, mineralization, some high grade hits, uh, but generally shallower intervals, or sorry, uh, narrower intervals um, confined to these faults that we're seeing there. Um, however, uh, our thesis, and this is borne out in the few holes that did go past called 250 meters, um, is we're seeing wider intervals um, of mineralization. So our thesis is that there's a, a feeder zone underneath these high grade structures. Um, and uh, we're actually seeing dissemination into the host rock at depth. And that's, okay. the, that's the big prize that, that we'd like to um, investigate there. As far as exploration goes in Nevada for the rest of the year, what can investors expect to, to hear from the company? 
Sure. So um, as background, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what we're doing right now in the field. Um, we actually have okay. crews on site right, right as we speak. Um, so it's, it's threefold. Um, so one of the, one of the most important things we're doing is, uh, as part of the transaction to acquire the option on Toy Abbey, um, we also gained control of the old core storage facility. It's just outside of Reno, um, about 10,000 feet of diamond core and 30,000 feet of RC chips. Um, and what we're doing now is actually, uh, it's a fairly advanced technology called hyperspectral imaging. So it's a company called uh, TerraCore. So we sent all of that core to them and they're basically doing um, high resolution infrared and true color imaging of all the core. Um, and what that's gonna do for us is uh, provide a whole wealth of information that in the past, um, geologists would simply log visually, but with the naked eye um, hmm. and, and try and determine what, what they were seeing in terms of, you know, mineral alteration, lithology, um, structure, grain chemistry, um, obviously not a perfect science when you're doing it um, with the naked eye. And if, if you look back over the history of the technical reports, um, geologists from one to the other don't seem to agree what was happening underground. So we're taking a very data-driven uh, objective approach. Um, and I think one of the, the logical things to do is use, use all the core you have on hand to try and glean as much information as you can out of that. So that's what we're doing right now, which is gonna feed into a, a revised, very robust 3D model, um, which is gonna really help us hone in on the best drill targets. So, so once you get this uh, geophysics uh, and all this other work back, uh, when do you expect to be drilling on the property? Uh, so we, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take all this information in. Most of these programs should be done by the end of August. We'll spend the winter, um, generating targets and then we plan to, to get on site with drills in the spring. Um, right. we, do, we do have a permit with the BLM for Toy Abbey for up to 100 acres of disturbance. Uh, past operators have only used I think four or five so far so we have a lot of room to play with um, and more importantly we are in the process of amending that plan of operations to include Turquoise Canyon. So instead of doing a new permit which can take 18 to 24 months um, we're going to have an amended permit before, likely before the end of 2021. So not only will we be able to drill at Toy Abbey, but we will more importantly be able to poke the first holes into Turquoise Canyon. Great. Well, I look forward to uh, seeing the news for the rest of the year and uh, good luck with your project. Awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel.